Grab your wine glasses and join the Red River Wine Trek. It's a new tour that's allowing people to try out all of our local wineries. And the Valley Today's Abby Birchner is live this morning with one of those wineries. Good morning, Abby. Good morning, Lisa and Jordan. I'm here with Mark with Rookery Rock, and you are on the wine trek this year, and it's going to be a lot of fun. And so when people come out to your winery, what do you have in store for them? Our, we're located on exit 322, uh, just west of Castleton. We're on the shoreline of Lake Agassiz. Mm. So the orchard is named Agassiz Shores, oh. and at our winery, it's all locally sourced wines. Most of the fruit and grapes come from within less than 100 miles. Wow. Uh, a lot of the fruits are actually grown at my orchard. And you have some samples here. You have some of your wine available to us this morning. And so what, what bottles do you have for us? Uh, there's a couple of grapes. Uh, Petite Pearl is a, uh, and Frontenac Gris. And what else did we bring? Frontenac. All three are cold hardy grapes that were developed mm -hmm. either by University of Minnesota or by Tom Plocker, who's a private breeder. Yeah. We also have fruit wines. Uh, we have a plum crazy, which is wild plum grown at our orchard. There's, um, there's also another grape wine, uh, Prairie Glacier. And then there's Glacier Gold, which is yellow choke cherry. That is a yellow version of red choke cherry that we grow. And we are one of the only two wineries in North America that are selling that wine. Wow, and so this one's kind of a specialty. Yes, it's, uh, there actually is going to be a third winery that will be selling that very soon, but it is very rare, and it was uh, something we discovered about 15 years ago in a shelter belt. Wow. Goodness, that's a, that's a really cool story, and I did try some of it off air. Of course, I had to, and it is absolutely delicious. So you're going to want to stop at the Visitor Center here in Fargo. That's where we are right now. Pick up a passport. You can get it stamped at all eight wineries when you make the trek, and then you can come back to the Visitor Center, turn that passport in, and get a free T-shirt. So it's definitely worth it in the end if, you know, you're just doing this for fun. And so you're going to want to come out, take the trek this summer, just for a little adventure. Fun. You know, and I always say I want to try all. Our, we have some great wineries here in the valley. There's so many local ones yep. that make delicious things, and I even love to buy the. It local can be ones. a Valley Today event. A Valley Today trek. Well, I'm here. Can we leave right now? Is that, <laughs> is that possible? Let's schedule that. Meet great me idea. here. We'll start here. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Abby. We'll check in with you again soon.